hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool technique inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about motion graphics in depth then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any much more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effect. Let's create a new composition. We will call it as main animation as always. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 1 minute long and background color is black Can simply hit OK. Go to choose grid and guide option and simply hit on title selection. Now we need to create our text first. So let's select our text tool. For the font, I'm going to choose Oswald medium version and I'm going to click on this fox bold and I'm going to choose white color. Okay, I'll tap dash and then I'm going to type my motion graphics. I'll copy this text and I'll hit control V to paste it and then I'll type this dash again. Okay, so this is my text. I'll select this and I'll press control alt home to align that anchor point to the center. Then I'll go to the align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Then press R for rotation and let's rotate it on 90 degree. So we will get something like this. Select this, press S and let's decrease the scale somewhere around over here. Then I'm going to select this and I'll go to the effect and presets panel and we need to uh, create a duplicates of it. So for that we will apply CC repetile effect and simply double click to apply. Then if you increase this uh, expand right, we will get something like this then expand left then we will get something like that okay so this is going to be my text so let's select this and right click and choose pre-compose and we are going to type 0 1 text okay so this is our text comp double click to open this then press ctrl y to create one solid background and bring this downwards then we will select this and we will go to the effect and presets panel and now we need to create a cylinder out of it so cc cylinder and double click to apply so we will get this kind of cylinder now i'm going to reduce the size of the cylinder somewhere around like this but if you see if you reduce the size the text is gonna get a little bit weird so for that what we can do simply go inside this select this text layer press s unlink this and we are going to increase the size of this text over here like that so if you see over here now we are getting this proper text over here like that so let's make this size 400 so we will get properly like this now if i select this and if i go to the effect and presets panel and if i uh, search for c twill effect and double click to apply and if i increase this value i'm gonna get something like this okay so let's select this and let's make this value somewhere around 35 okay then press r for rotation and let's rotate it like this first and press s and let's increase the size of this somewhere around like this okay then we will select this we will go to the rotation property we will create one keyframe at rotation hit u we will go to around 10 second and we are going to make it to rotation we will alt click on the stopwatch and we are going to type loop out expression over there okay so now if you see we will get something like this now i'm going to select this and i'll hit ctrl d i'll select this layer i'll press r for rotation and let's rotate it like this and let's move this over here select this hit ctrl d select this and let's rotate it like this let's uh, move it somewhere around over here again select this let's uh, uh, select this last one rotate it like this let's try to move this somewhere around over here select this hit ctrl d select this last layer let's rotate it like this and let's try to move this somewhere around over here select this hit ctrl d select this and let's try to rotate uh, and let's uh, move this somewhere around over here okay and now uh, let's make this quarter resolution because this might get a little bit heavy so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of stuff over here let's go inside this uh, this looks good to me okay press ctrl y to create one solid background and we will bring this downwards okay so this is going to be our text 
now i'm going to select this topmost layer and i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll search for drop shadow effect and double click to apply and we are going to increase the softness somewhere around 150 okay distance to 20 okay and opacity 100 copy this drop shadow effect and hit ctrl c select all of these layers and hit ctrl v to paste it so we are gonna get this kind of shadows now i'm going to select this second layer i'm gonna go in my effect and presets panel and i'll search for blur effect and i'll apply this gaussian blur and blurriness value i'm going to choose 5 similarly i'll apply this second i mean this effect to the third one i'll make this 10 i will apply this to this i'll make this 15 i'll apply this to fifth layer let's make this somewhere around 20 and if i apply this to over here let's make this 15 okay so we will get something like that so we will, along with that we will get a little bit depth of field as well and if you don't want too much you can increase it by two units so like that like this one should be six this one should be eight and this one should be 10 okay so you can create this much as well and all you need to do is simply hit play so you are gonna get this kind of animation like that so there you go here is our final animation and this animation is gonna be in the form of loop at 10 seconds so hit n over there then if you want to change the color simply right click new and create one adjustment layer you can go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and double click to apply and you can swap this color so you will get different results instead of black you can choose different colors as well so you will get different results according to your needs like that okay so you will get different different results you can play around with this okay so this is how you can create this kind of creative text animation